the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome, my dear friends, to Thursday after Ash Wednesday. Today, our readings are from Deuteronomy chapter 30, from verses 15 to 20. And, of course, the Gospel reading is from Luke Gospel chapter 9, from verse 22 to 25. My dear friends, today God is giving us this great uh, option if you like you know choice because our ability to serve God or our desire to serve God is out of free will we are not being compelled to be Christians we are not being compelled to serve God but it's free will and so that is why the the great man himself Moses said to the people like he's saying to us today I said before you fire and water a blessing and a cause of course I know you will choose water. Of course I know you will choose life. You know, but it is also to remind us of the fact that in this season of Lent, we have this option to live a good life or to continue to live a bad life. That is why Jesus Christ himself is telling us in the gospel of today that he came to suffer, to be rejected by elders, by the chief priests for our sake. And so, because of that, he died in order to redeem mankind. And so, we too need to die. Whoever tries to save his life, the person will lose it. But whoever loses his life for the sake of Christ, that person will find that life. What does it mean to lose your life for the sake of Christ? In this season of Lent, through neglecting some of those things that draw us away from the Lord, by keeping aside those things, we are trying to reject our life. Pleasure, enjoyment, fun, and sin, of course. So he said, when he said that whoever, the, whoever loses his life for my sake will keep it, means we, this is a time for us to abstain. It is a time for us to live a holy life. It is a time for us to move away from sin and pleasure and to pray and suffer with him. By so doing, it's as if we are trying to lose our life, our pleasure, our comfort, our enjoyment in order to be able to serve. So we are choosing between saving the life for eternity as against enjoying the life now and losing it in eternity. That's the choice that the first reading of today was saying. So if we as Christians, you know, put our trust in the Lord like the psalmist says and be able to hope in Him by living a good life, then on the last day, it means that we will be able to save our life and keep it. No wonder he concludes in the Gospel of today that what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses your soul? This is not a time to gain the world. This is a time rather, the season of Lent is a time to lose the world, to lose too much of eating, to lose keeping possessions to yourself by giving arms, to lose pleasure and enjoyment and having time for games and other things into prayer in order for you to gain it in eternity. May God help us, my dear friends, as we make effort in this season of Lent and find time for God in this season of Lent that one day we shall save our life in eternity through Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, we commit our lives into your hands. Today you say, you place before us a blessing and a cause. We choose life. We choose blessing. We do not choose cause. We do not choose evil because we belong to you. We pray and place our trust, our hope in you, Almighty God. And we beg you, Father, help us that we may not lose our life on the last day. Help us to deny ourselves, to deny those things that bring us away from you and to embrace the things that bring us closer to you. So on the last day, Lord, we shall be saved and have eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you with your remain both now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. I believe you are blessed. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. For more motivational and spiritual messages, visit www.fathathomasonabedailydigest.com.